and Nick Hubby, the 14-year-old from Kaplan in the Busy Bee Learning Center car, will be in car number 16, and that is our 21-car field, and we are ready to turn them loose. Off the corner they come, and Gabe Key up on the outside, Taylor on the inside, breaks down into turn number one, Gabe Key with a half a car length advantage, as they play bumper tag through the field, the accordion is in full effect down the back straightaway. And it's John Myron Florin playing that accordion. We have a three-wide action in the battle for fifth place. And uh, Porter getting challenged by last week's winner, Jason Chicolas. And Chicolas moving in on the inside. Al Stone is behind him. Battle for second. Here comes Carroll as he tries to shovel underneath Nate Taylor. Down to the inside goes Gallo as they come through three and four. But Taylor's able to hang on behind them. Chicolas gets a run. He and Porter race side by side down in the corner. Stone and Clemens racing wheel to wheel. Then you've got the 55 and the 55X racing side by side. Galvin and Monaghan. Galvin in the 55X for the third straight wave. Garrow has tuckered out Taylor, moving into second. Here comes Chicolas as he tries to uh, bar barnstorm his way underneath the 07. He is on the verge of doing that. And Gentleman Jay has moved into third, and Al Stone is right behind him. Off the corner they come, and look at Taylor hang on as he dirt tracks it off of turn number four, trying to settle it in as Plemons is all over the back bumper there. A little careful off the corner as Plemons down to the inside now. And Plemons working over Nate Taylor in the 07. Porter is behind them. Now making the move down low is Josh Galvin. And uh, Velcro to him is Sean Monahan in the 55. Best battle for second. Chicola is getting the challenge from Garrow and Stone in Plemons. Chicola moves up into the number two spot. And here comes Al Stone. The red and white 52 down to the inside. The Volpe Industries machine looking for that number three position. He takes it off of turn number two, and here comes Plemons to follow through. So with two wins this year, Plemons has some elbow room on the inside, and he uses it to get underneath Garrow. Trying to climb up again in his corner. Now Josh Galvin has driven away from his teammate, and Josh Galvin is in the number seven position. Monaghan caught in traffic up on the outside. Bo Norman down takes a spot away from him. Rick Sean working the inside now as Monaghan is watching his days get tougher and tougher. Now he settles into the inside lane. Let's see what Monaghan can do coming through the pack. But Bo Norman is the object right in front of him. We'll see how he deals with that. Right now, Sean Monaghan really has nowhere to go. He is bottled up, getting alongside Taylor up at the front. The leader continues to be Sean Gadeke, looking for his first win of the year. The reigning champion, now Porter going down low against Carroll. That is a fight for the top five. Off of turn number four, and Porter works that bottom lane. Garrow gets caught up top as they hit turn number one. He's got Galvin right behind him as they come off of turn number two. Josh Galvin looks to the inside, tries a three-wide move, settles it back in as they hit three and four. For Al Stone, his task is simple. He wants to get the win. Right now, he is in third. He'll be going after the tailpipe of Jason Chicolas. Now, uh, Monaghan loses contact with the 12 of Norman. Now he makes contact, or Norman makes contact with Garrow, lifting him up the track, and Norman's trying to uh, stampede underneath him. Down off in turn number two, battle for the lead. Here comes Chicolas down low. Gadeke gets caught up top. He's got off of turn number four. Chicolas moves himself to the top of the lead. Gadeke almost climbed over. Gadeke trying to slow up the momentum and use that side draft, I guess. Gets a little crossed up. The side draft turned into a side swipe. <laughs> Off the back stretch, and look at the battle. Here comes Bo Norman on the Josh Galvin. That's for the sixth spot, but up front it's Chicolas with Stone on his tail. Boy, Gadeke used the quarter panel of uh, Chicolas' car as a step ladder. Now he falls to fourth, Stone in second, and Norman fighting it out with Josh Galvin. That is for sixth place. 
and Sean Monahan is in eighth. Unofficially, all he needed to do was finish in the top 19 to uh, wrap up the title, but he is having a little more difficulty, I think, than he anticipated. He and Galvin playing bumper tag off of turn number two as Monaghan gets the run in down on the inside. Wayne Fire to his partner into three and four, trying to take away that spot. Up front, battle for that top spot. Al Stone all over the back bumper. Jason Chicolas takes a look to the inside off of two, and Chicolas shuts the door. And Stone only trailing by two tenths of a second. Also along for the ride is Brandon Hormans, as he is filling in for Moose Salton and filling in pretty successfully. Then a distant fourth is Gannicky, followed by Porter, then it's Norman, and now Sean Monahan finally gets by his teammate, Josh Galvin. It looked like his teammate was running him pretty tough, but Sean Monahan finally prevailed. Bo Norman started back in the 20th position in this one. We are seven laps away from the checkered flag without the aid of a car. He's been able to work himself from 20th to 6th, battling for 5th. Speaking of battles, here comes Stone down to the inside, looking for the lead. He had inside position against Chicolas. Let's see what happens. As they blockbuster their way off the corner, also moving in is Brandon Clemens. And he goes, Stone goes high, and Clemens moves into second, trying to pay it back as Al Stone, getting underneath the 39 car. From the top to the bottom goes Al Stone. They used to settle it in back behind as Jason Chicolas now has a better breathing room with five laps to go this time across the stripe. It looked like Stone stepped on a bar or so, but it cost him second place. And Sean Monahan going sideways is Porter. Can he save it? He wiggles all over the track like air coming out of a balloon. He is able to keep the track off the wall, but he can't stop Monahan from getting by. Monahan slides in down to the inside, takes over that position there, up into sixth now as he looks forward, and he's got a long way to go in a short time to get there. Bo Norman in the 12 sits fifth, closing in on Gaydeke in that battle for fourth with three laps to go. Jason Chicola is trying to end the season with a pair of victories. He has the edge over Clemens. Trouble on the third number two, one car around. That is the 16 of Nick Hunt, as he did. And it makes it a lot more enjoyable sitting on this side of the fence. Makes it a lot more enjoyable for a call on this one where he just didn't lay down and let him go. Three to go. Critical restart. Here is Chicolas. Comes out of the chute in a hurry. Al Stone's trying to get underneath Clemens. Clemens on the attack. But here comes Stone. Halfway underneath the 39 car. Down into three and four. Clemens trying to shut the door on Al Stone. Throws it in hard. Slides up the racetrack. Stone gets by. Here comes Gadeke. Gadeke sideways. Off the corner. As Bo Norman looks to the inside. Three wide for a moment. And Monahan backs out of it. Here comes Porter. Underneath Gadeke. Around goes Giro, running into Galvin. And Colmes is going to do everything he can to go back to back. So ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. This one is not even close to being over. And if you don't have a hat, hold on to Kevin's hat. Here comes Chicolas, a great start for him. So he did his job. Now we'll see if Stone or Plumins can do their job. Here comes Stone to the outside of Chicolas. And now Plumins going underneath Stone. And Plumins trying to get his second position back. Off of turn number four, the white flag in the air. The ivory silk waves for Chicolas. And then you have Plumins and Stone racing side by side. Down into one. Stone with a nose advantage off of two. Plumins even up down the back straightaway. Well, so with Plumins fight. Trying to break away. Chicolas out of turn number four for the final time. Gentleman Jay on his way to win number two. Stone noses out. The 49 of Plumins for second. And fourth was Gaydeke.
that, you know, the, the end of the season was uh, definitely a challenge. I'm, I'm very fortunate that... I'm very fortunate that uh, we had a good point lead coming into the last race because I knew it was going to get a little bit dicey. I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank my family, uh, thank Bruce for opening the speed bowl back up. I got to thank one of my best friends, Bruce Thomas, because um, that guy really knows how to get a race car around. And uh, I wouldn't be down here without him. My wife and my family, Dave Lusk, Charlie Banta, those guys that have helped me along the way. God bless you all. For the fans that have loved it and for the fans that have hated it, I've enjoyed it the whole way. Thank you so much.